Good morning from the Water Utilization Learning Center. My name is Brian Olson. I'm out here with Alexander Rosa and we're looking at our short stature corn. So we do have a lot of research this year out here at the Learning Center looking at this new corn uh, system that we're bringing forward to farmers in the near future. And so uh, we've got short stature corn here and we're comparing it to tall corn. So Alexander, you want to walk us through what you're seeing with respect to the, the architecture of that corn? Sure, so we did a quick assessment here in, in the learning center comparing a short stature corn versus a tall or regular size corn plant. And the first sight, as we, you all can see in the video, is the plant height. And by measuring that, we found that a short stature corn has about seven feet height uh, versus a nine feet height on a tall corn plant. And so is this, uh, this is on irrigated ground, is this height going to be impacted by a uh, water environment? Because uh, short statured corn at seven feet doesn't seem that short. Absolutely, right? You are right. So basically, if you are in a dryland field, for example, you tend to see uh, shorter plants. And that's going to happen for the short statured corn and also for a tall corn plant. So even though they, they are inserted in an irrigated or in a dryland field, we tend to see that proportion to hold still. And so what are we doing with the number of leaves on that corn plant? Right, so that's a very interesting question because when I, when I go by those two plants, I tend to think that a short stature corn will have less leaves, but actually that's not what happened. We found that both the short stature corn and a tall corn, they both have about 13 leaves above ground and then if you sum up with the six leaves that are underneath the soil or nodes we will find that 19 leaves for both of those plants right here so how are we getting that uh, shorter corn out there what are we doing to that length of the uh, the stock right so that's the, the that's the mainly thing that happens here between those two plants is the node interval and we measured, we did an average of all the nodes, like the, the intervals of all the nodes. And what we found is that a short corn plant, short stature corn versus a tall corn, we have a reduction of up to 27%. And that's pretty interesting because if you, short, by shortening the internodes, we have a more thick uh, uh, base plant. And that helps this plant right here, the short stature corn to be more uh, resilient to green snap or lodging. Yep, and so we're also shortening that corn up so give in-season access for uh, fertility or fungicide treatments uh, longer throughout the growing season. What about ear height? What are we seeing on ear height? Right, so by shortening those internodes, uh, we it's also visible that the ear, ear height on the short stature corn is lower as compared to uh, a tall corn. And, by measuring that, we found that it's up to 30% this difference. So 30% reduction on the short stature corn in terms of ear height placement. And so we, we talked about the number of leaves, how we, we decrease that, that, that node interval. And that's a, that lead, lead us to a shoot to leaf ratio, uh, which is quite interesting between those two plants. Uh, the short stature corn, we found about 1.5 of that ratio. And in a tall corn plant, we found 1.9. So what that, does that mean is, uh, is that a short stature corn will have more leaves for a unit of stock. And that can be very important for a silage quality perspective, for example. So needless to say, we are very excited to learn uh, more about short stature corn, how it's going to fit in different uh, production systems for our farmers so they can be successful. And with that, we'll talk to you in the future about other agronomic topics from the Learning Center. Thank you.